Hi guys, welcome to the Midweek Trio. That's one thing we're going to cover. We're going backwards again. <laughs> oh, let's get into it. So yeah, the 89... You see me rectify a few bits and pieces. You can see there, I've actually welded up where the arches used to go. Does that mean we're going archless? No, it doesn't. Um, Mrs. S wants arches on the car. We had two sets, if you remember, um, and I fitted the ones with knighted them on and stuff like that. I've gone to fit them again, just to double check stuff. And I just, there's something with this car that I just want it to be right. I think it's because it's happy wife, happy life. Uh, <laughs> and, it's not going to be perfect. I'm building it in a cow shed. Do you know what I mean? My conditions aren't great. But what I can do is just give it my all. And it's the fact that she wants to run a chrome trim down the side. The profile of the arches is so thick. And they're, they're old Monte Carlo arches. I don't even think you can buy them anymore. Um, and the chrome trim down the side, the, the profile of the arch is double as thick as the profile of the seal on the floor, the, the doorstep. Um, and I've looked at old pictures like... The cars in the 60s had these fitted and you do the chrome trim in three sections and it just looks dire in my eyes it just looks awful it's gonna fry off it's just gonna look rubbish um so the other option we had if you follow that video is just normal group two arches so a more modern interpretation of them they're a lot thinner, they're a lot slimmer um and i've just fitted them i didn't fit them in the first place because i hated how they fitted around the back um but i've done a bit of fettling and they look a bit tidier um you know me if you know me i don't like arches on minis i like them to look like how they used to look um but yeah that's that car right so i haven't got a couch down here anymore so we're going to do a walking video again midweek trio so midweek trio we catch up with a bit of news something that's going on um or something motoring related so i've not found anything motoring related that particularly interests me at the moment um i have got a topic ready for next week which is after what's happened recently not the best <laughs> but it's quite an interesting topic and a bit odd and i'd like to see you, you your views on it but we'll, we'll cover that next week this week is a bit of an update um further forward from what's happened with the volvo 940 um so the volvo 940 has had its category given to me now um it's obviously a total loss right off we knew that from the beginning but they were haggling over a category christ knows how because pff, it's obvious you can just see it um it's it's gone down as category B, which is the highest. Well, obviously not the highest, but highest it can't be. It can't go back on the road. Basically, it can only be salvaged, and then it has to be scrapped through the DVLA. Um, so we're in the process of doing that, and me and Jackman are going to film a bit of a video. Um, the car was meant to come here, but the insurance company screwed that up as well. So exciting! Um, some people have said I should name and shame the insurance company. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Uh, some people have private messaged me and I have told them who, who the insurance company was, but it could just be my case. I don't want to put people off a company, but I am so angry of how it's been dealt with. I will never go with them for, for, for anything. All my cars used to be with them. All my classics are now with Lancaster. Um, my house insurance used to be with them. That's moved now. I've had enough of it. I, I will never be with them again. Um, they've made this really, really stressful. I've obviously got a lot going on in my life as it is. And it's made something that was absolutely a pride and joy just turn into an absolute aggro. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if, like I say, if you want to know, I'll let you know. But um, we're not going to get into that really in this video. But the update is the Volvo is being broken for spares. Um, I'm currently actually waiting for a chap. He's, he's bought the Hydra wheels off me. Something I really lusted over on the 90s Volvo. Um, it had to be egg crake. Egg crate turbo grill, which I've, I'm going to keep. It's a bit cracked. But I'm going to put it up on my wall when I get my forever garage at home. And I'll, I'll put it up on the wall or it might come down here and put it up here or something. Um, I've kept that because, like I say, it's damaged anyway. It's not really worth anything, but it's something that meant a lot to me. And the hydro wheels. So if someone's collecting them, uh, snow mats, a few other bits. And then the car is going to Jackman soon. A chap that I've recently got to know, he's got a truck and he's going to move the car for me. I can't tell me how much of a lifesaver that is um, because it's cost me an absolute arm and a leg with this insurance company at the moment. Um, so the update on the Volvo is it's being broken for spares. So some people have commented saying, just get it repaired. You can repair it. I believe the people that are doing this commenting, um, they're overseas or in America or whatever like that. It works differently in the UK. Um, we have categories for the write-offs, um, or total losses, whatever you want to call it. Um, and unfortunately mine's the, the highest. It can't be repaired. Um, loads of people are saying that's easy, pull it, get it done. Go, go through the insurance. If I don't go through the insurance, I lose out. If I do go through insurance, I lose out. Because um, you have like things like no claims and stuff like that in the UK. You can have them protected and things like that. 
So either way, I've lost out. So I wanted the value back for the car. Um, and more so, as hard as it is, and as horrible as it is, I wanted the car to help some other cars on the road. So someone said, resto mod my Volvo Amazon. Something I'd love to do in the future. Um, not with this car. This car, for me, I bought it because it's so genuine and I want to keep it as genuine as possible. I'm going to do some period bits to it. Like I want the wider steels from the estate and the, the GT cars. Um, I might lower a little bit, a few bits pieces, and I'm talking car brettas with the engine spec at the moment and stuff. I want to keep this as true to the 60s as I possibly can. Um, so I don't know if that annoys anyone, but it, that's just always was my plan with the Volvo Amazon. I want to keep it as true to the 60s as possible. So the parts won't, well, none of them will see see this car. However, if you've watched the Rustberg, there's a Volvo in the background. So go check out them videos and have a look at what, we, what I'm talking about. So a lot of the engine and all, all of the wiring is all going in that and it's going to be a really, really cool build. So please go check that out, guys. So that's what's going on with the parts. The car's going to get broken for as much as possible. I had put a few posts out on Instagram. If there's anything you need, quite a few people have been in contact. Um, like I say, the car will be broken for spares and then what's left, unfortunately, will get disposed of. Um, just so I can move on for this headache, really. It's heartbreaking, but like everyone said, and all the people, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, this is why I do YouTube, because of you guys. Um, and I've had some awesome comments, not just on the video, but people have emailed me and privately messaged me and just saying, look, mate, you know, I've been through this, or I understand what you're saying. Um, and that, yeah, it makes you feel a lot better about the whole situation. So none of it's ideal, but it's happened. We've got to move on. Um, and I've got a lot of work to do in this workshop. So we just got to crack on with it. That being said, Pete Mates helped me out with a little motor. So I've got a new car, a newer car, I guess, from the Volvo, but it's not new, it's about 20 years old. Um, so how's it, I guess, uh, what that's going to be? I don't know whether I'm going to introduce it to the channel. If you guys are interested to see what I drive around in daily, then yeah, maybe. Um, but it really... <laughs> oh. It's, it's not forever, guys. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. I just, I've just started a new job, which I will add into this video. It's going very, very well. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I genuinely feel like a different person. Um, Mrs. S has noticed it. All my friends have noticed it. And I am really, really happy. And I, I'm so proud to be a part of the team um, at MiniMind. So, yeah. While I've gone the subject to MiniMind, before we get onto your three questions, um, go check them out. Pointing over there. Banners all over there, but there's a discount code on the screen now, 10% off when you spend £15 or more on our eBay store. So they obviously still support the channel, which is awesome. And you can get your discounted car parts. So why not get them? Because that just is a silly thing not to do, isn't it? So go check them out. And we've got Frost Restoration, discount code for them as well for your tools and tune balls and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually going to order a few new bits, fancy new welding masks and stuff like that. So when I get them, I'll do a bit of a review on them and stuff like that. Um, I've still got the strong arm and stuff like that, which I've used a handful of times, but we'll get into a little bit few more tool reviews, I think, with Frost. I need to go and have a big catch up with them um, and we'll work out some cool stuff with them. Uh, yeah, I just wanted a bit of an update of you guys. So the poor Volvo, unfortunately, is going. We knew that was happening. Um, oh, talking about that. There's my towing number plate. Um, and my trailer, which I can no longer tow. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just thought I'd give you an update. They're the reasons why I can't fix it. I'm not allowed to. The best situation for me is the car will help other cars onto the road um, and help friends and stuff like that. And if anything's going to go negative, I like a positive to come out of it. And I do feel like that's a positive. First thing is I'm safe, obviously. Second thing is the car saved me. Third thing is <laughs> it is just going to more heartwarming. It's helping two Volvos that I know of. Three, four Volvo, five Volvos, actually. <laughs> actually, they keep, yeah, they keep coming through. It's five Volvos that car's now helping. Um, and that's what it's all about, guys. It's just, it's the community of cars and the Volvo community is lovely. It really is. Um, it's full of really nice people. So we're going to move on from this. Right. Your three questions for the midweek trio. Remember, there's three questions every week. I go through them. We chat about things, stuff you may want to ask me, stuff you want, you know, just random questions. Anything random is nice. Um, just let us know and we'll comment and we'll, we'll get stuck into them in the next episode. So this week, we're going to get stuck into the questions. The first question is from Paul Smith Mini 191. So I've actually met you at a few shows. It's really nice to meet you anyway. Um, his question was, what's my favourite new Mini? Um, so the BMW interpretation. So all of you haters are going to jump on it. However, we like them. I've had two R50 Minis, one being a pre-launch car, um, which I am absolutely gutted that I sold now. Um, and Mrs. S drives a 2017 Cooper S Clubman, which is a really, really nice car. Um, you can tell it's built by professional, proper company, BMW. So 
there's a lot of haters out there for the new Mini, so, so I'll just clear this up. Um, and all I'll say to that is, you're, like, you're allowed to like what you, you like, and you're allowed to dislike, obviously, what you're not going to like. But if you've never driven one, I don't think you really particularly have the massive right to, to say that um, because they do drive incredibly well. Um, they're very well engineered. And if you just break the dissect it, if you're into styling and kind of how things should look, dissect them a little bit. Just step back from the fact it's a big mini because they're not mini anymore, are they? We're over that now, especially the Cooper S Clubman. It's a big estate car. Um, there's a lot of heritage in them. And I really do like the fact that the BMW did do that. I like the fact there's a lot of heritage into it. So for me, if I had to pick one, um, I like the early, early ones, the R50, the, the very first shape. Um, I've had two, I've had 2003, and I've had a Y Reg 2001 pre-launch car, like I said. Uh, they drive as close to the old Mini could, in my eyes, but obviously a modern version. But they're getting over 20 years old now. Um, so they're really, really, but like, coming cheap. Um, so they're like your Mark 1 new Minis. Um, the R53 Cooper S is one I've really lusted over, the supercharged one. Um, never owned one. I've always gone and looked at buying one, test-driven loads of them. I've driven loads with pulley reductions and stuff like that. They're so nice to drive. They're fast. They make a great sound. Uh, so I think if I had to go and pick one, um, it would be like a, a, I'd like an early R50 again. I think that would be something quite nice to own again. But, yeah, I think that's probably my favourite. Uh, but I do like the uh, Club Van, which was a massive, massive flop. It was just deemed to be crap because of the design. You've got the weird little door on the side, um, and it basically was, I think it was vinyl back windows. They weren't even a proper van panel. Um, but I like a van like a commercial, and I like a car because it was a bit of a flop. It's actually quite rare now, and it's a little bit different. There you go, there's that stupid roof again. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if I had to pick one of them, buddy, it would be an R50. I think that's the best era. It's the closest to the classic Mini. Um, but I'm not saying that the new, new ones are great. Uh, like I say, we've got a F56, I think it's classed as. They changed from R's to the F numbers, um, and it's a Cooper S Clubman, and that's a really, really nice car. Really nice. So, yeah, R50 for me, though. The next question is from a lot of you. <laughs> I thought I'd cover it in the midweek trio, because obviously it's a question I get asked a lot. When... Are we painting the 89? When I stop mucking around with it, really, it has to be painted in the next month or so, really. Um, things are going to revolve a little bit, and I'll, I'll get into you in the next month or so of that. Um, it has to be painted, really. Um, it needs to be capable of sitting outside um, and being built, basically. It needs to be a sealed car. And obviously, when you put paint and lacquer on a car, it's all sealed up. Um, we can look at the wire and the headliner and the glass back in it. Um, on that side, the original plan was me and Tony were going to paint it. That still might possibly be a, a thing. But right now, I'm working on a plan um, to collaborate with a YouTuber, which I, well, YouTubers that I've got a lot of respect for, and I watch their channel all the time. Um, and they've reached out. They've seen that things are, yeah, not great. And also, to do a collaboration, we've been saying about it for a long time. We both have the same sort of interesting cars. Um, and I honestly adore the work they do. I think it's awesome. The channel's great. Um, I'm not going to say in this video who they're going to be until we find out details, because right now I need to move the car quite a while away from here to get it to them. Um, and I just don't know how that's going to work yet right now, because I've just had my car smashed up <laughs> that towed the vehicle. So I've got the trailer, I've got the car, i just got nothing to move it with. So um, me and Matt have had a bit of a chat about it, but we just need to iron out the details and then we'll make a plan. And it's going to be a really cool collaboration if we can pull it off. Um, because I really, really want to make a nice job of this car. And if we can do it, and think, I think I'll learn a lot through it as well, because absolute pros at what they do there. And yeah, like I say, I've lost it over the cars they do. I think, I think they've got some awesome cars. And when we finally finalise the, the, the scenario of what it's going to be, I'll let you know, obviously, because I think if you watch their channel, you probably have jumped from them to me or vice versa, because you're interested in the same sort of stuff. Um, difference is next level, so... Yeah, so that's what's happening with the 89. It really needs to be painted. Mrs. S's 30th birthday is coming up fairly soon, and we really need it done. So I mucked around with the marches, like I've just mentioned previously in the video. We've got these panels for epoxy and getting high build as well. I think once we get that point, that's when we've had the conversation. It's like, right, then we get it there, we're flat it, we get it painted, which is why I'm trying to do the, the final preparation bits now, because we don't want to be mucking around after paint. So that answers that one. 
While we're on the subject of questions that everyone asks me, um, I've got a, a selection of questions that I'll put into next week's Midweek Trio. So if you've asked me one, I've got it. It's all saved. But I thought we'd just cover these every, every person's asking me questions. Um, the minivan. <laughs> I'll probably get a couple of questions a week about this thing. Why, why is it just sat there? And can I buy it? Can I do something with it? Please do the project. Um, you know, you're not the only one. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to start this car, um, but there's a lot in here. Um, I've decided the Amazon I've started already, basically. Um, and I, it's a big car to have sat around and doing nothing. So my focus is really getting the Amazon done. That's my personal car for myself anyway. Obviously got the sidewalk still maintain, which as the days go on, I really want to strip and start again with that. Um, just because there's bits that are coming through. I've never been happy with the bodywork on it, the paintwork and stuff. Um, and there's modifications I want to do to it and stuff like that. So the, 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 the long and short of it is the Amazon's going to be first. And the minivan, unfortunately, is just going to sit and wait. So I'll flip you around now and have a little look at it. So the people that haven't seen the video before, I've done a, well, there is a playlist for this car because a lot of people ask me. Um, obviously needs the roof. And inside it, it's full of the 89's parts, basically. But this is my 1980 minivan. There's the roof chop that we've got the section to do the roof. That's off my old estate. Um, there's my Halabore Inno steering wheel, which is going to go in there. The minivan, basically, we're, bas we're moving house. Um, and I think this will be going into storage again. And I'm collecting bits. Once the back's cleared out of the 89, which is another reason why we're pushing to get this done, because all the stuff needs to go back on that car so I can free up storage inside this car. Uh, I will do the Amazon first, and then we'll crack on with this. I really want this done. It's going to be all the Atlantic green, both of the cut. Uh, I'm getting rid of the white roof. I never like this. Um, you can see where I've started to look to chop. This, obviously, is awesome. Everyone says you should keep this, but it's not my company. I'm going to have it signed written with Simpsons Classics. That's the idea. But, yeah, that's the minivan. No, it's not for sale. <laughs> um, I, I say I, I get asked it a lot because I'm not doing anything with it. But no, it's not for sale. Um, there is a chance that there will be a minivan coming to the channel. Um, you saw it if you watched Matt sell his mini. You did see it actually finally out under the cover. So a good friend of mine has said I can have a little bit of a drive of it maybe, and we'll do a bit of a review on it because this is going to take a little while. But at least we can see one. Um, you know what it should look like because uh, a lot of the things he's done to this van to make it as good and as drivable as it is are the ideas that I want to put into mine. We're quite quite alike on what we like about them. We like the minivan to just look right. Um, and this white one looks absolutely lovely. And I want to make my green one look just like that. Um, it is just going to be one of them things. Life is taking over, guys. Um, I've wanted it for a long time. I've owned it over five years now. And once the Amazon's done and a movable, drivable car, you know, the potential of that can sit somewhere out of the way and be driven or come out of the workshop and then I can put the van in its slot. Uh, but there's a lot happening in the next few months, like I say. So I will update you all of what's going on with that. But no, it's not for sale. Yes, I love it. And I've got many plans for it. I could tell you now exactly what that van's going to look like. I could just imagine like the styling of it and everything. So yeah, I thought I'd just cover another every person's asking me this question kind of thing. So is there anything else you want to know? The 89, we're working on it. The minivan, though, it's not for sale. And it is just going to unfortunately sit here for a little longer. But it's a good bit of garage art, isn't it? I mean... It's currently a big shelf, but it really looks cool, doesn't it? So, right, that's the questions, guys. So I just want to thank you very much for watching this video. This is the midweek trio where we answer three questions. We answered one question from a subscriber and two that I get asked countless, which I just thought was quite a good thing. So all the questions you have asked me, guys, I will carry into next week. And it's quite a cool topic next week. I found it quite interesting. It's a bit sad as well if you like that brand of vehicle, um, but I found it quite interesting. Um, a little bit bittersweet as well, and you'll find that out. So... Yeah, if you've got any questions, please comment away down in here or email me or comment on Instagram or something like that. Just please just let us know if you've got any questions and stuff like that. I really enjoy reading them. I love answering them. And it doesn't have to be motor related. It could just be a general question about what I do, what's what's going on in here. Or it could just be, I like Spag Bowl. What's your favorite Italian? Do you know what I mean? It's just anything, guys. I just like chatting to you all. I think it's a good chance every week to get together. Or I try to do it every week. Um, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go check out both of our sponsors. Um, we've got Minimine and Frost. Discount codes for both of them are in there. Um, we'll be on with next week. And our uh, yeah, we'll start pushing along some of these projects. Hopefully we'll have a bit of a plan with that. Winner!